so hello friends uh, today i am going to demonstrate you how to induce the auriculo papular nerve block and the peters block so this nerve block we need when we perform any type of surgical intervention or surgery in the eyeball or eyelid so auriculo papular nerve it is basically a motor nerve so after once you block this nerve so what happened so there will be no movement of the eyelids upper eyelid as well as the lower eyelid means a kinesia of the eyelid and by peterson peterson nerve block means we inject the local anesthetic solution back to the eyeball different branches of the trigeminal nerve which emerges from the orbital random foramen some of the nerve supply to the this eyeball so for the and if you see so this is a basically case of the this deep corneal ulcer and this deep corneal ulcer is due to the photosensitization after uh, lantana camera poisoning so this is the lantana camera poisoning induced photosensitization in which normally uh, keratitis and the conjunctivitis so since the one month already has been passed so that is why the conjunctivitis is not visible right now but you could see this keratitis now is converted into the corneal ulcer so for the management of corneal ulcer so definitely in this case we need the these two nerve we have to block and beside this we also sedated this patient by using the xylazine betrofilan and ketamine combination in the ratio of 1:2 to 2:3 volume wise so we have injected 0.75 ml that combination either you go for the peterson first and then when you withdraw then you go for the apn so here in some time if you want to induce the wheel so thus simply take a just you infiltrate the 1 or 1.5 ml lignocin solution here so landmark for this one this one is the zygomatic arch and this one is the supraorbital process of the frontal bone so this is the supraorbital and this one the zygomatic so both they are meet at the then junction so this is the basically point of insertion of the needle so if you insert the straight way so definitely it will strike with the coronoid process of the mandible so we take the 10 cm long spinal needle so we don't have the appropriate size of the spinal needle so this is the stellate of the 18 gauge iv cannula so this will act as a spinal needle so this is a very good alternative of the spinal needle and this is the narrow one also so first we insert the hair straight and basic first you strike if it is strike then it's okay otherwise sometimes it doesn't strike so better to make the angle like this so that the tip of the this needle it reach to the behind the eyeball so even you can inject in between so that there won't be any pain <coughs> now you could see so we have reached here. so you could see here because of this anesthesia there is a salivation so at the time of injection so idly the eyeball should raise and this is the clear cut indication ki okay the whatever the solution we are injecting that is going behind the eyeball so 15 ml is minimum so this one is 10 ml so in this way we have injected the 12 to 13 ml 2% lignocin hydrochloride solution behind the this eyeball and then from the same point without you can see removing the needle once the tip of the bevel is just beneath the skin then you turn towards the this zygomatic arch in the fan shape like this for the auricular papular nerve block so you can inject like this in the fan shape so here 5 ml is sufficient and then gently you remove the needle then we wait for minimum 10 to 15 minutes so this is how uh, you could uh, induce the auricular papular nerve block and the peterson nerve block so now you could see the effect of the auricular papular nerve block and the retro bulbar nerve block or peterson nerve block so the effect of apn is now 
achieved 100 percent we could see there is no movement of the when i touches the this upper eyelid and lower eyelid so there is no movement there is no reflex contraction but now we could see so there is a decrease response uh -huh.